Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world, and welcome to the Spectrum UIM Integration Community Webcast. Today, I have with me um, Sardeep Singh, and he is going to take you through um, the presentation. Um, we will uh, open the line for questions at the end of the call. Um, in order to ask a question, in order to ask a question on the telephone, you will have to hit pound six or star six to unmute your line. If you would like to ask your question um, online, you can do so by choosing the Q&A box in the upper right-hand corner of your WebEx window, and we will um, take those questions throughout the webcast. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn the call over to Sardi. Thanks, Susan. Um, uh, <clears throat> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Sarabdeep Singh. Uh, with me, uh, Nagesh Jaiswal, and we are we both from the Spectrum Product Management team. And with us, uh, Poona, who is our SME for uh, Spectrum um, and UIM integration perspective. Today, uh, welcome to the Spectrum UIM integration webcast. So, from the agenda perspective, what I'm going to cover is first, I'll I'll, I'll give you um, I'll spend some time on the on the recap of what we have at this point of time with the integration, Spectrum UIM integration, and then and then come up, um, go along with uh, what are the three new, uh, three uh, new features which we have introduced uh, in in the in the past one quarter, and then talk about some of the use cases uh, where we showcase you the demo. Um, my friend uh, Purna will help us with that, and then uh, go along. We'll talk about uh, the roadmap for Spectrum UIM integration. And at last, uh, if there are any questions, I, I'm sure that the chat lines are open. Open, um, you can specify anything which we, which we, which you have in mind, right? <clears throat> um, starting with the value proposition perspective. Um, uh, Sardeep, Star, yes, are you are you sharing your screen because we can't see anything? Give me a. It was, and then it dis it disappeared. Is it coming now? I don't know if I'm not seeing something. Not yet, not yet, no. No, I still can't see it. I I see he got disconnected, I guess. Oh, you know what? Hold on a minute. Something happened. Let me... Yeah, he got disconnected is right. <laughs> That's yeah. why we can't see anything. I'll wait for him to come back in. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Watch him come back in. Sorry, deep. I don't see him yet. Here he comes. Okay. I'm just all right. Sorry, deep. You just need to unmute yourself when you get back on the phone line by hitting pound six or star six. Um, you're back in, and I'm going to hand you the ball for presenter again, and we'll begin. Okay. All right, sorry everyone, he is coming back right now. I can see him. Uh, we just need to hear him and then we'll be good to go. Star Deep is a reminder to hit pound six or star six to unmute your line when you come back on the telephone. Thank you everyone for your patience. Okay. All right, Sardeep, we can see your screen just about. Um, you just need to unmute your line um, so we can hear your voice, and then we'll be good. All right. Sardeep, just wrote, as a reminder, pound six or star six so we can hear you.
Sardeep, you just need to unmute yourself. I think he's, he's dialing into the conference. Uh, now? Yes, can hear you. Perfect. Okay, right. sorry everyone about that. Yep, we can hear you good and we can see your screen. I'm so sorry for that. I think someone That's okay. got disconnected. Yep. It happens. Okay. Uh, let me start with the with the first slide, which is the um, value proposition of both the solution. Uh, as you as you all know, uh, CA Spectrum uh, monitors the network side of things, and whereas uh, UIM monitors servers and virtual environments. So with the integration, uh, it enables manage, management of the entire um, IT environment through a single solution, where I, I with the single pane of glass, I can have my networks, I can have my servers, I can have my virtual environments all in single pane. Uh, from the solution, per, from the from the product's perspective, CA Spectrum users uh, get access to the systems and uh, virtuals, and uh, whereas the CA UIM users um, get access to the network device information. And for for CM use, CA UIM users get uh, CA UIM get uh, users get the root cause analysis capabilities and alarm suppression capabilities. Uh, whereas on the other hand. Uh, CA spectrum user gets the performance uh, performance monitoring from the CA UIM. So this is something which which is the biggest value proposition where which which where with, uh, which is which is there with the uh, with the spectrum and UIM integration. Um, coming in on to the inventory sync uh, overview, uh, this is all what we have at this point of time. Uh, we have the bidirectional sync and correlations of inventory, right? Uh, the the selective inventory sync uh, from CA spectrum to UIM uh, via the global collections. If you have the global collection created and all the devices in, um, attached to it, they get sync. Um, from UIM side, uh, VMware and virtual servers um, getting synced from uh, CA UIM to CA spectrum. From from the root cause analysis and fault isolation perspective. Uh, uh, the the out of the box uh, uh, condition correlation rules uh, for physical servers as well as the virtual inventories, then those are all, all also available. And moreover, it provides the ability to create uh, the, uh, your, uh, your own custom correlation domains um, uh, within the system. As I, as I said, uh, the, the current integration has the single uh, topology view, which means that all in, um, uh, which means that I can uh, see and monitor my infrastructure as well as the network all in a single pane, pane of glass. I'll, I'll show you the, the screenshot which which we have captured um, that 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 will um, help us to monitor uh, help the administrator monitor each and everything at a single pane of glass. From the uh, the configuration sync perspective for inventory, we do have uh, the full uh, synchronization, uh, full sync available. We do have the uh, incremental synchronization as well as the on on demand synchronization. Those are the three features which we have uh, for the inventories. As I mentioned about the the complete topology view perspective, if you see um, in in the in the in the uh, in the in the screenshot, I have my V centers, um, I have my ESX servers, I have my my routers, which is the networks and servers, as well as my uh, my my uh, virtual servers are all in all in a single pane of glass. So this will help us in in uh, in monitor all of them uh, together at a single pane. Um, the next next key thing is uh, from the um, the alarm sync overview perspective, which which are which are already there, and then uh, with, with it, which, which has the uh, which provide the flexibility to select the direction of the sync of the alarms. For example, um, by default the bidirectional sync uh, from CAUM to uh, to uh, CA uh, spectrum. The, this is the by default feature which is already available now. Um, we have the capability where you can sync your CA spectrum alarms to uh, UIM or vice versa. From the alarm management uh, perspective, uh, you can assign a troubleshooter and then it will it will update the um, UIM as well. And from UIM, uh, vice versa, both will work like a charm. Um, in in uh, so uh, in in the acknowledgement in CA UIM uh, will be will be cleared in CA spectrum, which, you know, which means that uh, one of the if the device which we, which is there. Uh, on my UIM, I acknowledge it. It will be the same alarm will get cleared in CA spectrum. 
Um, on the other hand, we are um, clear in, in CA spectrum will be kind of will be acknowledged in CA spectrum, CA UIN. And most importantly, your um, the the other feature which we have is your ticket IDs uh, created in ISO solutions are getting uh, getting synchronized, right? And the root cause uh, cause alarm and symptomatic alarms uh, sync to UI. So that is one of the key key things which we already have available at this point of time. And uh, um, same as the um, inventory, we do have uh, the full sync and incremental sync and on-demand sync available with the integration. So um, let me spend some time on on what's, what are the three uh, capa three capabilities which we have added into the uh, Spectrum UIM integration. The starting with uh, the 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 MSP or GSP focus, we have we have added uh, the multi tenancy support for integration, and and the uh, the second is uh, to to enhance the operation efficiency. We added. Um, the maintenance schedule syncs, the schedules which which you have created in, in either of the solutions, which will it will get synced um, in both the ways. And most importantly, um, a lot of customers have been asking for uh, like multi tenancy. They are also asking for the alarm filtering feature, where they they see a lot of unwanted alarms uh, uh, being flowing into the alarm view. So, so this is one of the key features which which we we feel. Uh, should be there where they can they can uh, control the num the flow of the alarms which are going inside their their um, their environment and they, which will ease uh, the knock operator to manage and it will be ease a lot of our customers to see the less number of alarms and remove the unwanted alarms from their from their networks. Um, Coming on to on to the multi tenancy part, this is one of the key features, um, one of the key area which we. Uh, focused on um, over the past one quarter is to see uh, how can some uh, how can some of the key ask from from our MSPs um, uh, not not from some of the, uh, our MSPs but also from from some of the uh, major key uh, single customers which has which where they have the distributor setups how we can um, how we can provide a multi tenancy uh, support to them how they can manage their environment well if you see till now. Uh, Spectrum UIM integration provide very little flexibility on where to model content coming from UIM to Spectrum. For example, uh, for for a single Spectrum a Spectro server or a very smaller customer, it it is it is uh, it was very simple because everything comes from UIM goes into the single Spectro server. But but when it comes to the distributed uh, Spectro server environment, customer was not able uh, not having uh, any option to distribute their content. As it goes to the selected or the particular specific um, spectro server, that was the biggest challenge which they are facing. They have the 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 um, the multiple origins or tenants in UI, but when it comes when when the data flows to the CS spectrum side, um, they don't have the the flexibility. They don't have the option where they can distribute the data along the lines. With the implementation of uh, of the multi multi tenancy feature, um, it will help customer to manage their inventories and alarms. Coming from from the CA UIM or vice versa, so that that's one of the capability which we added in both the solutions. So you can manage there your multi-tenant and one by uh, uh, the the option or solution which we which we which we are providing is uh, is they can specify the uh, UIM origin to the landscape, so user can segregate the content from from UIM for that for that origin to a spec particular spectro server, so. If 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 I when I when I come to the um, if you see the uh, screenshot, I have the landscape and and the CA UIM origin mapping, right? So the, the, the uh, origin um, ori origins are the list of origins which which the customers are created in UIM, and the on the left hand side, if you see, we have the CA spectrum landscapes. So you can map and you can you can select the the spectro server or the origin where you want. The data to be to be synchronized, right? With with this feature, what we have done is a new uh, UI have been added within the, the Spectrum Gateway probe, uh, where you can specify uh, the this mapping, where you specify the landscape to uh, origin mapping, which is which I believe is quite easy, and you can segregate the um, segregate the um, data as per your needs. 
one of the um, the the uh, one of the limitation of of this, or I can say that one of the feature which is not um, applicable, uh, not available at this point of is uh, multiple allusions can be mapped to a single map landscape, but but other way it's not possible possible at this this point of time. So you have can have multiple allusions. Uh, which, which is which is the current behavior where you have multiple regions pointing to a single landscape or a single spectro server, and everything works the way it is working at this point of time. But but when it comes to the multiple landscape, that that's the challenge where where we we see uh, there is some modification needs to be done, and we are currently we are focusing on that. So that that's one of the feature which is not available at this point of time. And and other other thing uh, before before coming to the and the scenario perspective. Um, the, the the there are two uh, problem statements which, which we are trying to solve here. One, um, the uh, customers uh, they can manage their multiple uh, tenants without the huge uh, tenant specific investments for the hardware. And uh, second, uh, they 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 are they are currently not able to control the tenant specific visualization uh, to meet their data integrity as well as the security requirements. At this point of time. Um, we have we have um, there are no changes done uh, to the access or privilege level for, for for the view restriction level. So what we can, what customers can do they can the users and and admins um, have to manually leverage the the GC functionality where they can uh, write rules to collect the entities or or event models of the specific region and set the security strings to restrict the access across the multi-tenant environment. So this this can be done to achieve at, at, to achieve the data integrity as well as security requirements. So um, uh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll jump to the next use case. And from the from the demo perspective, what we are going to do is we'll talk about um, uh, the the multi-tenant environment which we have in, in house, and and what what are the list of configurations which we need to do and how. Um, the how the inventory and um, alarm synchronization happening between the between the regions and landscape. Um, the next uh, demo which we would like to uh, the next feature which we would want to talk about is the uh, the alarm filtering. Right at this point of time, um, the customer doesn't have the flexibility to select or or filter alarms. Um, alarm syncs between the both of the solutions. So one of the biggest challenges, which 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 during our discussion with a lot of customers, um, they see a lot of alarms which are which are coming in there in in, in UIM, and they want to have the have the feature where they can disable some of the unwanted alarms. They they don't want to um, have them visible in within their within UIM, which are coming from the other other solution. So with this feature, uh, you can have we we have added. The list of attributes and uh, which which we can use to uh, use to stop or filter the alarms uh, going to, uh, going to both of the solution either way. So we have two fields in the in the uh, in the spectrum gateway. Uh, one is for the spectrum alarm filter where you can create filters or specific to the spectrum uh, side of it where you don't want to see the list of alarms and for our, and the UIM alarm uh, filter where you can create uh, filters accordingly based on your needs and requirements. From the scenario perspective, what we're going to showcase is um, the, um, as, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, the customer doesn't have the flexibility to to filter out the alarms, right? Um, from the from the uh, from the use case perspective, we are going to showcase some of the filters which we which we are going to create or which we have created. And and how we can uh, stop or filter some of the alarms which uh, between these uh, solutions, and this capability is being added, and and uh, and and most importantly, uh, it is pretty helpful, and and uh, um, we also given it for beta, and that will be um, useful for a lot of customers. The last but not the least, uh, what we're going to uh, showcase is the maintenance more schedule sync. Uh, between the solutions. So what what happens is we we have the schedules created for 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 the for the devices. But but what happens is from the uh, from the problem statement perspective, what happens is uh, the we uh, we end up we end up doing manually. We have to create the the maintenance schedule things to the different to the two. Uh, if if the if the device is is uh, if the schedule is created in Spectrum, 
So we uh, in current situation we need to go to UIM and manually create the um, manually create the schedule sync, which is not effective. And we uh, feel that this is one of the key to, key um, asked from a lot of um, a key feature and key asked from a lot of customers because they we feel that this is one of the things which is happening very often on the environment and every time creating a manu a manual uh, schedules is, is, is a tedious task. So what we have done is as part of the solution, we we, well, we have added this capability where the 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 now the schedules are getting synced uh, between UAM and Spectrum automatically, and uh, and most important, the new devices uh, we adopt the maintenance mode schedules and sync. So what we are going to do is we will talk about the some of the um, devices which we have, uh, which we with, uh, the capabilities and and an environment where we have. Uh, uh, schedule some of we have created some of the schedules and it will be getting synced. All in all, um, there are three three features which we which we talked about. Um, the three features which we talked about. The first one of the key marquee feature for for the upcoming release is the multi tenancy. We will we will we'll, we'll talk about the the uh, uh, my friend Kuna will showcase the demo about it and the second the alarm filtering where we can showcase how we can create the alarms within the system. And the third, uh, we can uh, talk. Uh, we can sh uh, showcase the, um, the maintenance mode perspective. Is, is, is there any any if there any question related to all the three uh, feature? I would request you to please uh, post your questions on the chat window. I'll I'll, I'll jump on to the chat window, and then in the meanwhile, I'll hand over uh, to Purna and uh, and uh, for 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 the demo for all the three uh, scenarios. Una, you there? Thanks, sir. Well, let me share yes. my screen. I think I can't see the screen yet. Sardeep, you're you're trying to share your screen again? Where'd you fall? Okay. The option Can you please give, give access to Purna? Can you please give the ball to Puna? Yes. Okay. Puna, you have it now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and we can see your screen. So let me explain. Uh, let me show, demonstrate the maintenance uh, multi-tenancy features uh, in UAM to Spectrum integration. So let me open the Spectrum gateway configuration. Uh, so we need to uh, map origin of UAM to landscape of Spectrum so that uh, the devices or models coming from that particular origin will be sync to the particular landscape. Okay, so for that purpose, we need to configure it in the Spectrum Gateway Pro configuration. So there is a flag being introduced. A flag flag is introduced here. Configure multi tenancy, and we need to provide the UMP details for some uh, information uh, to fetch the origin. So once we click this and save the configuration, we will get this multi tenant mapping uh, link coming in here. So where we can map a uh, landscape to particular origin. So th these are the list of landscapes, and what what you would see here is an STC secure domain connector. So we can map multiple origins to uh, same landscape uh, with, with including a SDC. So let me configure uh, here landscapes to origin mappings. We have data from different origins in UIM. Uh, I'll, I'll show it in UMP. So let me show you here. In UMP, you have uh, these are the data in different origins here. 
So basically, we are uh, we are managing the VMware probe in two different robos. So each robo is in different origin. So you can see it here. Uh, one VMware probe is monitoring one V center, uh, and another one in in a particular primary robo and monitoring in another V center. So we have data from uh, different origins in UIM. And we are trying to map it to different landscapes. You can see the landscapes in spectrum here. So these are all the landscapes. Yeah, so three landscapes are there in spectrum. Let me save the configuration. Uh, on saving the configuration, the synchronization starts. So all the models from the corresponding origins will be synced to the uh, mapped landscapes instead of uh, syncing to the single landscape as before. Let me see the configuration. So it, it actually sends the mapping to uh, gateway probe. Uh, sorry, it sends the mapping to uh, spectrum. So once the mapping is received, we can enable the uh, Inventory sync is a VMware management and server management. Uh, if you enable, we'll get the all the VMs managed in vCenter and VMs managed in VMware Probe, as well as servers, other servers managed in UM will be synced here. So let, we'll, once the mapping is received, we will uh, get a UM event admin gets created under each landscape so that any alarm comes from for that particular uh, origin will get asserted on this particular event admin if there is no uh, corresponding model existing spectrum. The mapping has been synced, so let me enable the uh, server management. Yeah, so it starts uh, syncing. You can see here a UM uh, virtualization data is coming in here, as well as servers are coming in here. So it is syncing as per the mapping. So you can see here, uh, as per this mapping, uh, we are getting UM inventory spread across three different landscapes, that which we can see it here. So this is a 8837 landscape, which is having uh, data from particular vCenter with the secure domain as uh, 146, which you can see it here, 146 secure domain and 8837. So entire data is coming from origin 2. Similarly, uh, we are getting uh, data from here. Uh, this is a 1166. Of the origin one of the origin uh, one one six six, which is asserted on seven four two zero, you can see here seven four two zero is mapped to origin one one six six. So this way we can uh, we have segregated the uh, UIM data into multiple uh, landscapes based on the origin information in UIM. So we are achieving multi tenancy uh, this way, and customers uh, can uh, configure their own security strings uh, for the accessibility purposes uh, based on the uh, origin or landscape. So similarly, the inventory is getting synced from spectrum to UIM uh, will follow the same rule. Uh, whatever the devices in particular GC which is configured in Gateway Probe all the devices get synced to UIM. So there are multiple, these uh, are from different landscape plus STC combinations uh, get synced to UMP, UIM. Uh, you can see it here, uh, the data. See here, these are all the devices which got synced here with different, different origin information. Okay. 
similarly uh, alarms uh, sync from spectrum to uim uh, will be asserted with the appropriate origin information you can see it here uh, these are all the uim alarms most of them are uim alarms which most of got sync to spectrum on the appropriate landscape Position as alarms onto on different landscapes here. That's it. Uh, that, that's it from the multi tenancy um, part. So any, any queries? Before I move on to the alarm filters, hope, hope my I think Puna, you can move on. Uh, move on because we are taking yeah. questions in the yeah. Q and A chat. So yeah. 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 Let me move on to the alarm filters features. Yeah, you can see here uh, in the probe, uh, the probe configuration. So I've already configured some filters. To save time, uh, so this is the configuration, uh, and you have alarm filters uh, sub view here where you have two different filters spectrum alarm filters. So, this is uh, to filter out the alarms coming from spectrum to AM. It's basically inclusive filters, so whatever is satisfying this criteria um, will be uh, synced to UAM. Uh, here I have included uh, alarms coming from these particular two IPs only to be synced to UAM. So any any condition you can you can have all condition as well. Mm, as shown, you have various uh, attributes here. Uh, these are all attributes of spectrum alarm going into UAM. We have different conditions. You can uh, use negative conditions or uh, equal to conditions. Does not contain contain. There are different attributes available, and different operators available, and similar, similarly, UIM filters. I've configured a couple of them uh, based on hostname and based on message. Uh, I'm using any condition here. So let me open uh, Spectrum Alarm Filter and see how many, uh, what kind of alarms were synced to UMP, what, what kind of alarms are available in Spectrum. If you look at the spectrum, there are a lot many alarms here. So out of this, uh, I've just configured to sync only uh, alarms from two particular IPs, uh, one from 96.11, 96.11, and the other from uh, 96.7, I feel, 37. Those alarms, so you can see here 96 are 37 and 11 only. Only those alarms you can see from Spectrum Gateway Pro. There are no other alarms are synced. And similarly, from UIM to Spectrum, I've configured uh, from alarms from particular host name and with the subject subject having AXA in it. So if you look at this, uh, these are all the uh, host name. And some are uh, having access. So though there are uh, different alarms from VMware Pro which we don't see, we should not see in Spectrum. So let, let me open up here and search for NAS alarms. So here you can see only the uh, alarms from this particular host. So forget about this. I mean, don't worry about this. This is matching NAS here. This actually is Spectrum alarm. So this way, uh, filtering is achieved between uh, Spectrum and DRM integration. So this is about uh, <coughs> alarm filtering. Uh, and coming on to next one, maintenance schedule sync. Uh, so typically, uh, once these schedules get synced, you you must be seeing it here. Um, 
in spectrum so all what all the uh, maintenance schedules is existing spectrum as well whatever the whatever the schedules got sent from you him uh, this is a place where you can see all the schedules in spectrum as well as in uim you must be seeing it in the ump this maintenance tab you must be seeing it here yeah that that's it uh, from the demo thank you all right do you want the uh, ball back sorry yes yes please all right you got it Okay, now before I talk about uh, what what's next um, in, in Spectrum UIM integration, but I, I, I'm sure you most most of you must be having a couple of questions related to when this feature will be available. Uh, and the update on this is um, we have a multi-tenancy and alarm filtering available for beta. Um, if if any one of you interested in in testing uh, some of the capabilities, I request you to uh, reach out to Spectrum product management team, or even if you uh, just um, Comment on the um, on the chat window. I'll definitely reach out to you within a day, and then uh, provide you all the uh, necessary um, <clears throat> builds as well as the documentation for for, for the beta testing. Now, uh, coming to the uh, what are the list of things which we are planning uh, for this integration. Uh, so, if you see there, there are four pillars, um, and I'll start from the from the the feature which we uh, which we we just completed. Um, the, the MSP and GSP focus where we, we still feel that there are a couple of scenarios which we really need to um, need to strengthen uh, for multi-tenancy. And, and that's the reason we, we really want to have uh, feedback from most of you uh, that how, how you are going to use uh, the multi-tenancy. And then uh, and definitely there are, there, there are uh, some of the key asks uh, from a uh, few of the uh, MSPs we covered along the line. But definitely, some of the scenarios which you feel that should be there, I request you to um, to have uh, to ha have this tested and uh, provide us your feedback. And if something is missing, we'll definitely review it and then act upon it. So that's reason that's the one of the key item which which I line, lined up. We do have some of the things already available, but yes, we really want to strengthen up uh, the multi tenancy uh, the overall feature. Um, on on going a little bit on the top, where we have single point of integration. Uh, what we felt that uh, the the spectrum gateway and there are, there are three three things attached to it. We have uh, spectrum, we have UIM, and within that we have spectrum gateway. But even though we have spectrum gateway in the middle, we still feel that some of the configuration needs to be done at at the at the spectrum side or either at the UIM side, uh, which can be avoided and which can be pushed to to the gateway side, uh, which will make it as a as a single point. Of integration where all the configuration resides within the within the uh, within the uh, within the spectrum gateway probe side, and so we need not to do anything from both of the other solutions. So we are looking at some of the commonalities or some of the features which which we really should move into the spectrum gateway, and we believe that this will simplify uh, some of our challenges or some of the the key asks from a lot of our customers. This will be definitely helpful. Um, on the uh, on the left hand side, if you see uh, topology for AWS and Azure, we do have the hierarchy available. But what we, what we feel is uh, there is still something missing. The, the missing piece is is the relationship between the devices within the AWS environment, and we we really want to have that that exposed as well as the I want to monitor that. Most importantly, most importantly, we really want to uh, add the the RCA capability, which is the core piece of Spectrum, to to that to that um, to that uh, AWS and Azure. So we we are constantly looking at uh, some of the use cases and scenarios which which most of the customers are having, and we we are trying to design that up at this point of time. And we definitely reach out some of the the customers if if some of you are currently you, um, looking for such kind of uh, scenarios are having some of the use cases. We definitely reach out to you and get your feedback and and. And review that in as an overall overall uh, scenario perspective. 
going going at the bottom if you see the left side at the bottom if you see uh, the enhancing virtualization monitoring perspective uh, we 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 are doing uh, the best of um, of the VMware side of it, where uh, we, we we see um, um, where we see the we, we are monitoring everything for from the VMware perspective. But what I see is uh, VMware is attached to some of the storage devices, and which which we we really need to pull up, and um, the devices like NetApps or EMS, uh, uh, which which are which are um, which, which are connected to those devices, which are connected to the uh, VMware or ESX servers, we want to pull that and make sure that the, the overall picture is is is, is popped up in, in the in the in the in the integration perspective, which will help us to monitor the the VMware side of it as well as the the inline or linked uh, linked uh, the storage devices as well. And uh, not but not uh, not but least the the one. Feature which most of us, uh, most of the customer requested is the vMotion. Uh, there is, they are facing a lot of challenges with respect to the vMotion when they move the VMware from one server to another server, and they see uh, delay in in, in 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 spectrum as well as UIM. So we we are trying to analyze the um, analyze what what best can be done and how we can uh, add the real time updates for for uh, updates in, into the topology for. Uh, for vMotion, not only this, enhancing the feature with, with the RCA capability as well. So, um, over in all, there are four key areas which we which we are looking at at this point of time. Um, we we want to simplify the uh, spectrum UI integration. We want to strengthen the uh, the multi tenancy feature which we which we just started. That's one phase which which we which we just finished. And we want to add the cloud support where we want to show the relationships and mappings. All, to, uh, all together, and and add the the storage and virtualization uh, storage uh, support as well. So overall, and all uh, they, these are the four things and four pillars which which we which we are focusing on. If there are any any, any questions, please please uh, please uh, type it in in a, in a chat. I'll love to answer back. And. Uh, um, coming to some of the features which I have, which we are really looking at, um, if there are some of the key asks for specific asks which you really want uh, us to consider, I will request you to please um, please put it on the chat chat window. Um, uh, for example, um, uh, chat window, I'll I'll review that. I'll reach out to you, and most importantly, if you feel that um, you need detailed demo for multi tenancy or I'm thinking of any other features which we just uh, which we just finished or which we just demoed. I would love to do that. We can have separate sessions. We can we can showcase you um, the 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 demo again, as also uh, understand that how you are going to use the multi tenancy at your at your site, which will help us in in, in strengthening this process. The, these overall all the features in in the uh, UI and spectrum integration. Thank you. All right. Are you guys ready for a Q&A? I know you've been answering a bunch of questions um, in the Q&A and the chat window. Um, if Are you guys ready if anyone has a question online? Okay, if anybody has a question um, and would like to ask it over the telephone, um, you can do so by uh, hitting pound six, and that will unmute your line and you can ask your question verbally. Otherwise, I believe the team here has done a pretty good job of answering uh, the questions in the chat and the Q&A window so far. Okay. No questions online? I mean, um, on the telephone? 
Magesh um, and team, did, were you guys able to answer the, uh, um, all of the questions that came in online online, or is there any that we need to discuss um, verbally or give a verbal answer even though it was in writing? I think I think I discussed I, I answered most of the questions. Uh, uh, I think only the the concern which Dave has brought up and then Steve also echoed the same thing. Uh, we'll have to go back and review that and uh, uh, I'll ask Sarab uh, to sync with you guys, Steve and Dave, separately on this. Uh, once we have some sort of guidance or no uh, information uh, from the architects and engineers and and. Uh, we uh, at this point, I can only say that I acknowledge uh, acknowledge the concern, and um, and probably once we review that, we'll 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 think with you and then probably you know uh, have some information for you on that. Uh, but at this moment, uh, unless we review with architects, uh, we'll not be able to comment on that. So yeah, so please bear us with for some time, and then we'll definitely get back to you on this. Okay. All right, um, let's just see. I see something in the Q&A before we conclude. Let me see, I think. Thank you. Okay, no, it's just a comment, which is great. Okay. Um, and last opportunity, anybody have a question they'd like to ask on the phone line? Okay, um, so then I will um, say thank you to all of our presenters and um, all the panelists that were fielding um, the questions. There were some great questions that came through. And uh, we're going to wrap this up at this time. Um, presenters, I will save the chat and the Q&A, whether they came through privately or publicly, and I will send them to you to make sure in case there was any that you needed to follow up on. And um, uh, guests on the line, uh, the recording of this webcast will be posted to the uh, Spectrum and UIM communities, um, along with um, if I get permission from Sardeep, I will also post a PDF of the deck. I just need permission from him first, and um, that concludes our call. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day and joining, and enjoy the rest of your day, your evening. Thank you.